Hello, this is Dean Graziosi. Welcome back to the weekly blog. I appreciate you guys tuning in every week to see these videos and I appreciate you for being at this site and sharing with other people and helping them change their lives. Hey, I want to talk about something today that's kind of personal. Um, and you guys who watch this blog every week know that I'm not afraid to share anything. You know, I've had a really good run in life. You know, we all have ups and downs and I appreciate all the things that each of you go through because I wasn't born with a silver spoon or I wasn't born under a lucky star or surely not born with money. Uh, you know, having a mom who was a single mom working two jobs to make about 90 bucks a week and hand-me-downs and trailer parks and moving all over the place and getting evicted from apartments. I've been through all that. And I've been through trials and tribulations creating this business and my real estate business. I was fortunate enough to become a millionaire in my 20s because of real estate because I just, I was just determined. I, I ran away from desperation. I ran away from pain. I didn't want to have my parents struggle anymore or my family struggle and I wanted to support my kids. And I was lucky enough that that desperation caused me to push and create creative ways to be financially independent through real estate. And I get to share that with you guys through my books, tapes, through anything, through this website, through our coaching academy and all those other pieces. But what I realized, the last couple of years, I think I've been firing on all cylinders. After 20 years of just nose to the grindstone and just had my head down and had my real estate company going, then also I have the teaching business, what I'm doing here, teaching people, sharing my best techniques, writing books that I know change people's lives. In the last couple of years, things have really been working great. But you know, just in the last couple of weeks, something hit me out of the blue, and it's, it's personal, but it affected me in a real negative way. It was, it was blindsiding. You know, they, they say the uh, bigger you get, the bigger the target gets on your back. Well, I guess my target's pretty big, and something, something hit me that's pretty, you know, pretty devastating in my life. And you know what? It rekindled a lot of the feelings I had when I was struggling, when I was desperate. And, and believe me, I'm not struggling financially. I don't mean it that way. Things are wonderful. But I have some serious things that I have to deal with. But I'm only sharing that with you because I want you to know I will never forget what it's like to be desperate. I will never forget what it's like to be down to your last penny and be in credit card debt. And I'll never forget what it's like to want more, not sure if you can achieve it. I know those feelings. They're inside of me. This, this thing that hit me in the last couple of weeks brought back all those old memories, all those old painful moments to wonder if I was really going to make it, if I could really support my family and be successful. I read all of you. I read most all the comments on DeanGraziosi.com. I don't have time to reply. I read the gentleman who just lost his mom recently and he's down to his last penny and he's trying to make it and all the wonderful people that supported him. I read all the comments that Indiana, Indiana Joe or Indian Joe writes. I'm sorry about your nickname and you're at the live event. Of course, I met you in person. I read all those comments and I know some of you are really in pain, but I want to let you know with the right focus, and focusing on a bigger future and being grateful for the things you have even if you have little. If you have nothing but your health and maybe a family or a child, that's enough to get, inspire you to get you to the next level. When I get hit with these devastating things or I got hit with this recently and I haven't had anything in my life tough in a long time, I realize that what got me through when I was broke and young and wanted more out of life was focusing on tomorrow, not yesterday. Was focusing on what I already had, my wisdom, my health. I live in America, you live in America, the greatest country in the world. We have so much to be grateful for, even if you don't think it right now, even if you're down to your last dollar, even if the credit card companies are calling you. Listen, you're at this site for a reason, and there's so much wisdom on this site that can help change your life, and I, you have my commitment that I will never stop doing everything I can to change your life. Listen, I can't make you read the book. I can't send you a box that's going to spit out $100 bills. I surely don't have a magic wand. But I do have wisdom and capability and direction and confidence that can help you change your life. The only thing you got to do is focus on tomorrow, be grateful for what you already have, and most of all, take action and make a difference for you and your family. This is Dean Graziosi. I want you to know I truly care, and I hope together we can make a monster difference in your life. I'll see you next week.